With the Office 365 subscription, I've recently gotten a couple of new chart types in Microsoft Excel, and there's one I like a lot called a tree map chart. And what I'd like to do here is demonstrate not only how to make one of those, but how to get there. So as an example here, as you can see on my screen, I have a lot of data about properties that are being sold by my business, uh, whether they're commercial, whether they're residential, how much they appraised for, how much they sold for, etc. And the major idea here is that, of course, this data is vitally important, but it's also at the same time completely useless because when I look at it, I really can't figure out what are my most important elements, what takes up the most of my time, what takes up most of my revenue, uh, those sorts of things. So in order to better visualize this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the new tree map chart type. And it's going to take something that looks like this, where you can see that every property is either residential or commercial. And then within commercial, there are some that are single tenant and there are some that are multi-tenant and then turn that into a visualization that looks like this. Whereas you can see on the left, everything that's green is commercial properties. On the right, everything that's blue is residential properties. So you can very quickly visualize the difference between what commercial means to our business and what residential means to our business. And then within commercial, you can see the difference between multi-tenant commercial property, single-tenant commercial property, and land that is designated for commercial purposes. And so you can very quickly get to the heart of what is the most important thing to our business and what is the least important thing to our business, or possibly what needs more attention so that it grows to become a bigger part of our revenue. Now, in order to make this chart happen, I have to be able to tell Microsoft Excel, these are, number one, the categories that I'm looking for of commercial here on the left and residential here on the right. And then, number two, I need to be able to tell it the subcategories, multi-tenant, single-tenant, and land within the commercial properties, and multifamily condominiums and land within residential properties. So to make this happen, I need to create a small table that represents a summary of my original data. There are two ways of accomplishing this. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this with pivot tables. So I click directly onto my data, knowing that ultimately I want a table with property type, property subtype, and total sales. I click onto the original data, click the insert tab at the top of the screen, and choose pivot table over here on the left. Now it automatically selects all the data in my table for me perfectly, and all I need to do is create a new worksheet. So I click OK, and a new blank pivot table is created for me. Now as I said, I wanted this table to be created with property type and property subtype. And so I go in and I click the check boxes for those two categorizations. Because land, multi-tenant, and single-tenant fall under commercial, and because condos, land, and multifamily properties fall under residential, you see that over there in my pivot table, they are perfectly stacked. Now I wanted to see the total sales in this particular pivot table, so I then click the check box for sale price in order to put in all of my totals. I might take a second here, use the drop-down menu on sum of sale price, and choose value field settings, and just sort of tweak some of the look and feel here. I might call this something like total revenue. And under number formatting, I might choose the accounting format, and click OK, and click OK. Now it creates a very nice table for me, but here's the problem. Number Well, here are two problems. Problem number one is if I go to the Analyze tab and I click on to Pivot Chart up here at the top of the screen, you'll see that one of the chart types that's available to me is the Tree Map chart type. Unfortunately, when I click on it, it says you can't create this with data that's inside a pivot table. Now, I have to imagine that that's an evolution that's coming um, because it's a perfect relationship here. You're creating a summary with your pivot table, and that summary would need to then be turned into a tree map. 
But unfortunately, because today we can't do this, we're going to need to do something else. So let's walk through those steps. Item number one is this. I do not need the additional numbers that tell me the total commercial or the total residential or the grand total in terms of revenue. So I will take those off by going to the design tab at the top of my screen, going to the subtotals drop down menu and choosing do not show subtotals, and going to the grand totals drop down menu and turning that off for rows and columns. So now I have a simpler pivot table that only has the raw numbers I'm looking for. Unfortunately though, as far as Excel is concerned, it doesn't understand that residential is uh, dominant over condominium just yet. I need to go with two additional steps. The first additional step is the report layout drop-down menu showing this in tabular format, which will put residential and commercial alongside land and condominium, which is good, but unfortunately for our ultimate goal here, commercial is not repeated for multi-tenant and it's not repeated for single tenant. So again, I go to report layout and I tell it, report, uh, repeat those item labels for me so I get that same thing over and over and over again. So I click on repeat all item labels and that's what we're looking for right there. Now, when we go to make this chart, it is very clear commercial land, commercial multi-tenant, commercial single tenant, residential condominium. This is all very, very clear and easy for the, the chart to make sense of. So now I click onto this original data, use a quick control A keyboard shortcut, control C to copy, and I'll just click down here somewhere and use control V to paste. Now when I use control V to paste, it creates that same pivot table again. So I use the control button that shows up here and tell it to only paste the values or possibly paste the values with the number formatting, which will keep that, uh, the nice dollar signs on there. So I'll go ahead and choose numbers a values and number formatting right there. And you can see that it's not a pivot table. You can see that there are no more drop down menus. You can see there are no more plus minus buttons over here on the left. It's just a small table that I can then make a chart out of. So at this point in the process, I go up to my insert tab. I click onto the tree map drop down menu and choose tree map. And you can see that it immediately recognizes the two major categories of commercial and residential, as well as the three subordinate categories under each of those for land, multi-tenant, and single-tenant, and land, condo, and multifamily. Of course, at this point, we can do a lot of formatting, but this is where I want to land for this video. Come back to tomorrow's video, and I'll show you how to do the same thing, this time with logic functions.